Now, as you can read from the title of this next video, um, it's about the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. And I was sent this video via YouTube um, through a friend on Facebook, and they said to me, I'm going to take a look at this video, tell me what you think. And I'm going to tell you what I think, and it'll probably surprise a lot of people. Now, the clip is Mike Tyson goes crazy at a reporter. So I've gone, I've listened to this interview, and as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if Mike Tyson did what he did to that woman in, in the hotel room. I don't know it, you don't know it, unless you're the woman, and you know, he's convicted, he's a convicted rapist. Now, the way I look at it this way is that, you know, he's done, the, he's done what he's done, and you know, now he needs to move on for his life. If that's the case, if he has done it, um, there are a lot of people within boxing that may not openly say, but there are a lot of people that believe he didn't do it and he was set up. Um, but neither here nor there, that's another conversation altogether. And I'm sure somebody will want to take me up on it. But anyway, so now Mike, you know, he's retired from boxing, he's trying to keep on a straight and narrow, you know, family man. A lot of the media still want to pipe this thing as Iron Mike Tyson, that he's an animal, that he's a beast. Some, things, some of the things they said about Mike Tyson was held derogatory at the time when he was heavyweight champion of the world. Um, you know, some of it was, you know, the guy was a, a, a vicious fighter, he was very good at what he did. You know, he, you know, that's why people pay to see him going there and knock people out. That's what Mike Tyson did, and that's what made Mike Tyson so exciting. But here we are, 2014. I can't remember when the event happened. Um, you got to think about well, 1990, was it 96, 98? They they, they met Evander Holyfield, and I think the first time. So he's already come out of prison. You know, he's trying to get himself in a straight and narrow. He recaptured the heavyweight championship of the world. Mike has always made statements and said things that have been quite, um, you know, shocking to some people. And some people say, well, no, that's just Mike. And, uh, you know, I think that everyone's entitled to have an opinion. Now, let's get to the point of this video. Um, so, Mike's sitting down and he's talking about his one man show, which has been a great success. Um, you know, for a boxer to leave the boxing game as such and then to go in another direction and to become a uh, talk about your life or the painful events of your life, especially if you may have been wrongly convicted. I don't know, that could be pretty painful, but he's talking about his whole life and opens up his life to the boxing world and people who you know, have gravitated towards Mike because they've seen a different side to him. So, anyway, this has happened and this is going on. He's had a lot of success for me. He's now, I believe, going into boxing promoting as well, which is fantastic. It's great for Mike. Um, and then he's gone in this, this, this chat show and he's got this reporter, this journalist, who says, Oh, well, you met with him here, but aren't you, you know, you're a convicted rapist? And, you know, journalists, and there's some journalists out there that feel that they can ask any damn question that they want because they're the person who's got the microphone, they're the person who's asking the questions, and you can't fly back at them. Um, and I think that if you ask a decent question in a decent manner, then you know you deserve a decent answer. But I believe if you're being provocative, like I think this guy was, I think he's been set up to do it. And I don't know if it was for TV ratings, but um, to turn around and talk to Mike, who's there, you know, mind his own business, basically, come on your show, you know, to talk about what he's doing, and you turn around and say, call the man a convicted rapist, even if that is his life and what he has done. Or, or, you know, that's what he's known for. He's not on the damn show to talk about being a convicted rapist. He's on the show to promote his one man show. That's what you got him on the thing for. So to ask him a question at a completely left wing or a question out of the blue like that and say, oh, you know, well, you know, you are a convicted rapist. And people are going to look at negative people about this. So, you know, you and the media have a responsibility to paint somebody either good or bad or to give somebody good or bad publicity. So when Mike was sitting on the couch, that could have, that, that question didn't even have to come up. He didn't have to say Mike looked in a certain manner, in a certain way. No. This guy went there. So when Mike turned around to him and started swearing at him and was mad at him and angry with him, you know, I think that if if that guy that asked the question was one-on-one -on -one with him 
like in a pub or a restaurant, you know, and said that stuff, Mike would have done, Mike would have punched him. And I don't think that guy would have asked the question. So for me, I have a problem with people who do things like this. And when Mike basically effed him off on 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 the um, on the channel, I was like, yeah, good, serves you right. So if you're right, you think that you, all you journalists that you can just ask questions you want, you look so smart, you can hide behind your camera and, hey, I just asked Mike a question, you didn't expect it back. So for me, in this occasion, what Mike did, I do condone, in the sense that, you know, um, it's not on. This announcement concerns I'm out.